Look who it is. These teams are on a quest to prove they're the best tag team in sports entertainment. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions are all business, but the opposition looks ready to make history. Only one team can leave with the gold. This is going to be good. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. Go, go, go! Gargano and Champa back together again. It's so great seeing DIY reuniting and getting things done. And they look focused on getting back on top. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The Bloodline. And the and a combined weight of 400 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. D.I.Y. One of these teams is going to have to work in unison from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, collectively known as DIY, ready for action. That acronym is what fuels Ciampa and Gargano. They were never expected to even make it to WWE, but they have become an all-time great team because of DIY, or do it yourself. It's brought Gargano and Ciampa very far. Let's see if it leads them to victory tonight, too. You can't argue their credentials, but don't overlook the team they're squaring off against. They've done their homework. They're coming into this fight as prepared as you can be. And that can be a difference maker, Corey. You can be a great team, but if your opponent has you scouted, you can become very vulnerable. Gotta step up in Zagari. All oh, the stops are being pulled out by the champ now. <laughs> Snapping the neck. And Gargano now with the edge. Johnny's showing the precision he's known for. Knee drop. A rolling elbow. Answering back. 
thrust into the corner. And he's able to reverse. The scoop slam sets things up. The champ just trying to embarrass the opposition. Oh, the old taste of pain. A bad place to be for the challenger. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. for Champa and Gargano. This is what DIY is all about, standing on their own two feet and proving that they are the better competitors. A Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Some folks. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha, are you guys ready? And his opponent from Gomez, Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds. Day. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition.
We'll start with Santos Escobar, the self-styled emperor of Lucha Libre. What does that even mean, Corey? Santos sees himself as tradition and modernity all in one. He honors the past with old school lucha moves, but pushes into the future with modern presentation and technique. He understands the best way to keep tradition alive is to allow it to grow and change. And if I may add, he's completely ruthless to boot. And he has his work cut out for him here, facing off against someone who feels he's been disrespected lately. Opponent sit on the outside. Uh-oh, on the move, take off! Oh. Tope con Hilo! That is tossing your own body around without a care taking no account for their own well-being. And gets tossed back into the mat. Tilt-a-whirl puts on the brakes into a leg drop. Off the ropes. Leg drop! STO! Think we're about to get a little fancy, gentlemen. From the top rope! Leg moonsault! the shoulder up before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Oh, oh, oh. The fight being taken to Escobar. He's weathered Escobar's hybrid offense and has not let his guard down whatsoever. Oh, lands right on the knees. That can change everything. Hoist it up. starting to struggle here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Back elbow. Jeez, did you see that? Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Really just laying it in. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Has the arm into a hammerlock since did. Oh. Destructive arm breaker. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. An utterly relentless attack from Escobar. Blend of that Lucha Libre style and power, keeping Escobar on top. Santos is your winner. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. Falling victim to the ref's count, this one is over. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Orlando, Florida. 
This superstar has a lot of confidence, a lot of pride, but there's also a lot of respect for their opposition tonight. Oh, I get it. Great mind games at work. No, Corey, just respect. Oh, so this superstar is just an idiot. Got it. One of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. Yeah, a mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport! Well, we know Blair Davenport has a boundless capacity for savagery, and I'm pretty sure it's about to be placed on display here tonight. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future. There's a true darkness within Blair Davenport, a deviousness. She's competed all over the globe and terrified opponents at every single stop along the way. A hard-hitting competitor with a savage determination in the ring, Blair has made a habit out of grinding down her competition until they are powerless to prevent her victory. I'm sure that's exactly what Davenport has in mind here tonight. Yeah, but she'll be facing off against one of the toughest competitors in the women's division. Pure grit and determination. That's what's made her such a tremendous threat in the division. Watch her set up in the corner. Ooh. Locks in the gut wrench. All the way up and boom! Big time. Gut buster. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Springboard, springboard, stunner! Her shoulders are down. Manages to escape before the three count. The end was in sight. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Bam! Springboard roundhouse, good night. Sidekick on the mark. Here's what I want to see from Blair Davenport tonight. Ruthlessness. She needs to unleash her most sadistic attacks. That's how she'll get this match won. A no limits approach to offense could certainly pay off big for Davenport here. Yeah. Big back body draw. You see the height on that? She's forced onto the defensive now. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. There, Davenport with something in mind. From the top rope. Stops whatever Blair had intended. Step up, Enzigari. Taking out the knee. Big 
forearm. Caught in a bad position here. Straight impact on the throat. Ooh, forearm connects. Vicious contact. Attacks from the arsenal of Blair. Davenport attacking without limits. Being absolutely ruthless right now. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Right there. Right there. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Just disrespectful. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Boom, head kick connects. Momentum now on her side. This is Davenport looking at her best. Rear view. The lights are dimming for Davenport. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. What are they doing here? <laughs> Snap mail right. Surfboard stretch apply. You feel? No, she, she breaks it. Big escape there. kick. Just disrespectful. <laughs> oh, the face has been planted. She has her target weighed and measured. Watch out. Suicide dive! Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. DDT! She returns the favor there. Throws her back in from ringside. <gasps> Their opponent's head is trapped. Oh, spiked with the DDT. tonight. This is only going to make Blair Davenport even more dangerous. It's one thing when she gets her way. It's another thing altogether when she doesn't. She has a temper, that's for sure.
Here comes the unholy union. Yeah, they... Saxton. Byron, what are you doing? Get out from under the table. Get a match to call. Uh, leave me alone, Corey. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, the team of Isla Dawn and Elba Fire! These two women are self-proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of Fire and Dawn's dark personas. The Scottish sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. They are ready for a fight. And their opponents, Jade Carr. A duo that always delivers when it comes to tag team action, and the WWE Universe is ready for it. Now we're talking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's go. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. This could be a night of tag team action at its finest. Yeah, you can't ask for a much better matchup than the one in front of us, gentlemen. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Hit the mark with that one. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Shoulders down, this could be it. And she's not done yet. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. For the middle rope. What? She can end it here. Stops the count before it, too. Not even a near fall there. Ooh. And she's in off the tag. Ching, step up in Zaguri. Oh man! Rolling into a monkey flip. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Uh oh. We're gonna see it. Power. Sit down. Power bomb. Two count coming to the rescue. She's stunned in the corner. Connects on the... There's a tag. Double team maneuver on the horizon. Oh, what on earth? A DDT wheelbarrow suplex. She 
serious jeopardy for Dom. Makes the cover. It'll win here tonight. That'll change your career. Here are your winners, Jade Cargirl and Bianca Belair. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, the WWE Women's Champion, Bayley. Michael, you feeling it? No, Byron, I've never seen a grown man get excited about inflatable balloons before. Oh, well, first time for everything. Well, Bailey is a prime example of someone who had a dream, followed that dream, and achieved greatness as a result. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. And from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always tiffy time in WWE. The arrogant, egotistical Tiffany Stratton set for in-ring action here in this one. Stratton is not exactly the most popular superstar in the women's locker room. Well, good thing this is a competitive sport and not a popularity contest. And when you're as athletically gifted as Stratton is, of course the locker room's going to be jealous of you and all your accomplishments. It's the law of the jungle. Whatever you say, Corey, as far as Tiffany is concerned, all her fellow superstars are just jealous. But let's take a look at the woman across the ring, Bailey. One of the most confident and self-assured superstars we've ever seen. Bailey knows just how good she is and acts accordingly. Well, Bailey's not confident. She's just arrogant. She thinks she's the best the women's division has ever. Sky high. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Piercing elbow drop. A humiliating slap. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Uh, 
Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Nice Japanese arm drag. DDT! Cover! Gets the shoulder up at one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Saw it coming and got out of there. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Amongst the women of WWE, Bailey isn't really seen as a powerhouse, Corey. How does she compensate for that supposed weakness in her game? With cunning strategy, Cole, Bailey knows she won't win matches with quick, bombastic offense, so she slowly wears her opponents down. Using well-planned offense, she chips away at them until they completely lose the will to compete. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. This might be one of the greatest rivalries the WWE Universe has ever witnessed. This has progressed far beyond any animosity we've seen in recent memory. I'm just glad, and she goes for the pin. Here is your winner, Bailey. This has to be a difficult loss for Tiffany Stratton. Stratton does not take losses well, and tonight should be no different. The following contest is a special referee match. Men is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Well, I'm sure Saxton's pleased with this guy as our referee. I am. He's here to deliver justice in the ring. Please welcome the special referee for this match. Guys, I always thought I would make a great referee. Way better than this clown. Maybe it's time for a career change. <laughs> you? Wearing zebra stripes? Enforcing the rules? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, forgive me, Corey, but I'm not sure you'd pass even your first refereeing exam. There's exams? Plural? Never mind. I'm out. Refereeing is a tough job with a lot of complexity and nuance. I hope he's up for it.
Oh, you're just mad that he actually will do a good job, Corey. We are about to see something good. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. He must be prepared for battle against one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. And if he is, it'll be one of the most memorable moments in his entire career. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Introducing the challenger. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 280 pounds, Jacob! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And we got the bell. Undisputed WWE Universal Championship is at stake. Each competitor is confident that they'll achieve the task at hand. You always have to bet on yourself. Ignore the haters. Shove it in the doubters' faces and shut out the noise. Uh oh, and the bionic elbow. 
Cody Rhodes performing at his very best now that he's back in WWE. Corey, how can his opponent prepare tonight? Cody Rhodes loves to play mind games with his opponents. He is the American Nightmare after all. If you're up against Cody, the key is not to let him get in your head. Otherwise, you've already lost. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Final cut! He manages to escape it. He's positioning himself, closing in. Look out! Suicide dive! Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, man. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Evading offense. Boom. Recover by the challenger. Shoulders up. Looks like our guest official is pretty good at this ref thing. You can't say our ref messed around with his cadence during that pin. Cody Rhodes felt that coming. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Cody Rhodes from the mid rope through the air. Cody Cutter. Perfectly delivered, and Cody's gambles are paying off. Put all your chips on the table and let it ride on Rhodes. <laughs> Up and down. Brutal. Looking for a little bit of high from the top. Oh, a huge miss there. Up and down, what a gourd buster. And finds a counter. Super kick! What is Cody Rhodes looking for here? Oh my! Verna breaker! The challenger being outclassed here. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Rolling into a monkey flip. He foiled that attempt. Oh, here it comes. Oh. And the bionic elbow. He climbs into the ring. Yeah. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stomp. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. No way. A pedigree. Cody sizing him up, getting ready. Rhodes looking to finish it here. Crossroads connects, but he's not done yet, Byron. Cody wants to put an exclamation point on this matchup. Corey, there it is. The champ will stay champ. Two. Add one more day to the reign of the American Nightmare. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal. Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from England. Weighing in at 242 pounds, Nick some would say this superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> what? That is horrible advice.
the king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. of Shinsuke Nakamura, a man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. Shinsuke Nakamura ready for action here. You have to admire the style and grace with which Shinsuke delivers his offense. Absolutely, Cole. It's a symphony of destruction. You don't earn the crown of King of Strong Style by pulling any punches. Nakamura's offense is something orchestrated out of speed, power, and conviction. We've seen how his offense can chop down opponents of any size, and I expect we'll see more of that tonight. And he is up against someone who is determined to get the win here no matter what. As both men should be, Saxton. If you're not trying to win, you're not trying. <laughs> Take off. Driving elbow. <laughs> Stomping down. Nakamura not shaken one bit by the presence of his opponent. Ooh. Evades the attack. What a poop. <laughs> Using the elbow as a weapon. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Shinsuke Nakamura's powerful kicks are known the world over. So if you're taking him on, you have to take those strikes away. I'd recommend going after his core and draining his stamina. Then he'll be unable to deliver attacks with full strength. That seems like a sound strategy against Nakamura taking away his strongest weapon. Oh, man, just punishing. Off into the pin. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Oh, ouch. The king of strong style is being dismantled. Smart strategy we're seeing here. Draining Nakamura's stamina so he can't deliver full strength attacks anymore. Ooh. Oh, he retaliates. Okay, this is just a little bit dirty. Just ripping and tearing at their opponent's eyes. He moved. You can feel the tables beginning to turn. A series of clotheslines, and their opponent is rocked. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. And Shinsuke, victim to some further punishment there. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Drives a foot into the stomach. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? A little deep-seeking elbow. She wrote. Here is your winner, Nick Ellis.
wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. This is going to be good, gentlemen. We've been waiting a long time for this. Well, yes, this. this is really good. Well, hold on, Look at hold this. on. What the world? The well, the scheduled opponent was just unceremoniously dumped at the top of the entranceway. And here comes the other. And we got chaos. Well, it's no secret. These two can't stand each other. It's, it's come away. Oh, hey, get oh. out of the way. The referee having no choice but the call for the bell. Well, not the opponent they were expecting, but I guess they were still ready. Well, unfortunately, the other superstar was caught in the crossfire of these two's rivalry. They don't care about anything. They're just brawling. The referee unsuccessfully keeping them apart, and now a brawl's broken out. Clearly a ton of hostile feelings in the mix here. Yeah, match or no match, they came to fight, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Right to the hand. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Uncorks another one. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh, man. Headed to the top now. Up high, what a clothesline. And Sokoa gets taken a step back in the wrong direction there. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Right to the face. My God. Sokoa keeping his opponent at bay. Back suplex, no. Driven down. Able to give him the slip. Caught with the lariat. That's using your head. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. With the boot. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Down, what a gourd buster. Rearing way back, Samoan spike. That could finish off Roman. After humble beginnings, this has really grown into a career-defining conflict. And look at this now, bad intentions coming with this hole. This won't win the match, but it's doing a... And he very quickly counters. Rapid fire, Samoan drop. He's on his heels a bit now. Roman turning up the pressure and the heat there. That's the kind of power that makes you happy. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Camel clutch and sitting deep into it. Nice escape. Headbutt. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Roman's face. Done. Taking the fight near our announce table. 
I really hope we get these desks at a discount. That's yours in your head. Leg drop! Vice-like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. A beatdown on the big dog. This brutality is Sokoa's trademark. That's it. The blood.
The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 241 pounds. LA Knight. By some accounts, LA Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. He cannot afford to let Logan Paul get under his skin. He's got to keep his cool, even if Logan Paul is somewhat obnoxious. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul. You know, we know Logan Paul taking on some of the top names in boxing and WWE. And he may be big on the internet, but can he really handle a fight? Why don't you roll in the ring and find out yourself, Saxton? No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Put a little respect on Logan Paul's name. Set your DVR. Logan Paul is about to create another viral moment. Yeah, but will it be at Logan Paul's expense? or his opponent's expense. Logan's opponent should be grateful for the exposure of just being able to stand next to Logan Paul. Well, stop fanboying, Corey. You have to appreciate the unapologetic charm and brazen self-confidence of LA Knight. This guy believes he's a certified megastar and acts accordingly. It's certainly something in the way Knight's cover, cover. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Oh, what a close line. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Slam. And that definitely wasn't Logan's best effort. The close line. A calculated attack here against Logan. Heavy work being done to Logan Paul right now. From the top. What? Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. success for LA Knight here. WWE is still somewhat new territory for him. He's new around here, but this is not Knight's first rodeo. He's competed in promotions all over the world for two decades. He needs to keep drawing from that deep well. DDT! Spiked him. What a forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly! Into a neck breaker. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. to the gut. Setting it up. Inverted DDT. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh my, said flying. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! 
and a series of vicious stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. And Knight is finally changing the tempo with that attack. A brief sign of adrenaline from LA. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Unloads a shot to the gut. From behind. Six up. Oh, an inverted DDT. And an elbow. Looks like LA Knight got busted up there. Oh. Oh, launching himself in the ropes. Goes into the pin. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. He's going for it all. Up high. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. He can end it here. And a kick out. This could be a tipping point in this match. a perfectly placed target. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Knight denies the attack. Oh, an overhand punch. Unloading! That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Question for you guys. And that's what I'm talking about when I say it's L.A. Knight's game. Pure L.A. Knight kicked to the gut. L.A. Knight with the B.F.T. Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. I'm not sure if he's foolish or courageous, but Logan Paul keeping himself alive against all. Launching. Ooh, knee drop connects. just reeling from that offense. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Back body drop for the win. Fights the shoulder up in one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Power slam. Ooh, what a damaging blow. He turns it around. Could lead to a big time win. Knight has his shot lined up. LA Knight BFT for Knight. Logan Paul looks knocked out. Two count. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. LA Knight. It's a losing effort tonight for Logan Paul. Yeah, say it with me. L.A. Knight with a huge win.